Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Halo 4. And, well, we're padding the game. Or playing through the padding, or filler, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. So, we're going to hit this button up here. Then a bunch of guys are going to miraculously spawn in the gondola. Gondola to pipe my way back through them. And, yeah. So. And, hell, I'm expecting more of them to just randomly spawn again right now. Just to stretch out this section a little further. I oh, do gotta, gotta love those uh, button designs for the uh, Forerunner stuff. Big shiny buttons. Checkpoint, and yep, miraculously spawning goons on my ship. Because fuck you, that's why. You only have to enter the field to trigger the EMP. Taste all the fucks I don't give. This is way. I am so sick of this filler that I'm dropping the F bomb. And I've managed to go this entire Let's Play without dropping the F bomb. That's so much I don't like this. Th th this chunk of the game. Or at least I want it to end. All right. So walk in here, put up my data disk, and then we get a message from my user, which tells me what I need to do to defeat the MCP. I believe that's how this works, right? Oh, you're all the way up there, you jerk face with keys. And now I'm dead. How far back am I set? Not that far. It's Hmm. All right. You're a nuisance. You are all a bunch of noxious nuisances. At least I'm not having to fight helicopters. The helicopter boss is a sign of a certain lack of, cre of creativity. Okay, that's everyone. Now hopefully be a straight shot back and we won't have to fight our way through those stupid little outpost thingies again. Straight shot, no waiting, just go back. No stopping at the other outposts, we just go. Clear. All transmissions between the towers and the satellite have ceased. We may get shot at along the way, but we don't have to stop to clear these outposts. Children and fire? Methinks your grasp of English isn't as good as you think it is, um, Didact. Either that or it's just really stupid writing. Depends on whether you want to be Doyleist or Watsonian about this. At this point, I'm leaning more towards Doyleist than Watsonian. And while we're waiting, Doyleist relate, this relates to Sherlock Holmes. Doyleism refers to thick, interpreting things in terms of um, 
Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's in intentions about the work, while Watsonian refers to what Dr. Watson was writing and thinking of when he was putting, theoretically writing the stories in the metafiction of the Sherlock Holmes books. With that pointless trivia out of the way, let's go get in our ship and get out of here. Who keeps moving our ship? I parked head on. Horton, are you doing that subconsciously? Define. He knows what we're trying to do. If we try to get too close to that ship, we're dead. I, I have an idea. Head for that waypoint. You would like to elaborate on this idea, since it'll take us a few seconds to get there. No. Am I going to have to replay an earlier level? His ship is literally able to turn on a dry on a dime. He's got like a no inertial thing going on. Okay, I have no idea how I'm supposed to get there from here. There it is. I didn't have to f shoot anybody on the way here. All right, so what's plan B? Actually, plan C. Plan A was using the uh, infinity. You will relent, human, or you will perish. All in life is choice, and your day to choose has come. Oh, he's altering the tower. That's cheating. Also, platforming, really, really, 343 Industries? Platforming the first person shooter. I thought we were done with this in like the, the 90s. Like early 90s, late 2000s, we had our infatuation with platforming in, in uh, first person shooters. Then we realized it was dumb and we stopped doing it. Also, there's the fact that if the didact was really, really wanting to stop us, he could turn off all of these light bridges. I do like wait till we're on it, then be all oh up. Oh, sorry, did I turn off the light bridge while you're on it and you're plummeting to your death? <laughs> My bad. Oops, that was nearly embarrassing. Much better.
That's you. Who else is shooting at me? All the way over there, really? Oh well, there's a plasma cannon I can use. Just kind of clean house over there. Or not. Yeah, that's way too exposed. Have to use. Looks like, looks like I'll have to kind of semi-snipe after all. Oh, one more shot. Yeah, I'll just take the gun. Walk over. Charge for a bit. Really? Whee! That was a hell of a swan dive. Still a fairly decent plan, though. Rambo my way over here. Charge. Was there two grenades, or was that one thrown and exploded, and another one cooked off? Hmm. Right. Yeah, you're a nuisance. You you get to die first. I need to duck behind cover before I get blowed up. Again. I think I'm a clear to advance. Almost empty. Charge. See if I want to keep this thing or not. Really? Grenade spam. Look at the clowns over here. And I'm out. Sorry, I got it. That's alright, I got a fair amount of damage in before I ran out of ammo ran out of ammo for the thing. And checkpoint. I'm seeing a control facility at the top of the tower. We need to be there yesterday. Well, we unless you have time travel, I can't be there yesterday, so I'll have to give me I have to get there once I kill these two things. And hmm. Wanna wrap it up here or do I wanna try fighting the brutes? Yeah, I'll try fighting the brutes some more. Or hunters, whatever these are. This is going to be a hell of a fight, because I don't have any of the ideal guns for this sort of thing. Well, let's see what I can do. Oh, I can fall to my death from being shoulder checked. Rod cannon. This might work. Let's see if this will do it. I'm seeing a control facility at the top of the tower. Well, that's not gonna get old. Ooh. Yeah. I have to wrap this up shortly. Next time, I'm going to try to kill two hunters with the uh, fuel rod cannon. I will see you then.